So my name is Jeff DeSimone. Um, I've been in surgical practice now for about 29 years, uh, in Syracuse for about 25 of those. So like any other surgeries, or like many other surgeries we do, there's been a transition over the last 29 years of my uh, professional career from open surgery to laparoscopic surgery to robotic surgery. So I think uh, as surgery has evolved over the last three decades, uh, the reduction in the size of the incisions and the amount of manipulation that occurs inside the patient's abdomen has translated to a much quicker and less painful recovery for the patients. I was a little skeptical at first when I started doing robotic surgery that there would be a difference between laparoscopic surgery and robotic surgery. If you really think about it, we're making similar size incisions, similar number of incisions, patients asleep on a table for a similar amount of time. But I do think that the precision of the robot allows us to do less manipulation of the patient, which I think translates to less pain and quicker recoveries. And I've found that we've cut almost a full day off most of our uh, hospital stays from two days prior to robotic surgery to most patients are now going home uh, in one day. Uh, it's very, very uh, rewarding when you find a patient who is 200 pounds overweight, has diabetes and high blood pressure, and gets short of breath walking up uh, you know, a, a flight of three stairs to their front door, let alone a whole flight of stairs, who now has been able to lose most of those 200 pounds, is no longer diabetic, can get down on the floor and play with their kids or grandkids, can see their daughter get married, and all those life, uh, as we say, the non-scale victories that these patients can have. So it's a rewarding, passionate, thing for all of us in our program.